So I'm here at the Matrox graphic stand here at IBC 2013. This is the first of two videos that we'll be doing, uh, looking at some new products that they're showing here this year. The first one, we've got Rob Moody with us, and Rob, you're going to talk about Avio. Tell us a bit about this. Indeed, yes. The, uh, the Avio is a family of optical-based KVM extenders. Uh, the F125, uh, which is the unit we have here, is the latest addition to that family. Uh, it brings to the uh, brings to the family USB 2 uh, functionality, which is going to be appreciated by the, the post-production community. Um, we're talking about features like uh, USB pen drives, uh, tablets, some of the speciality mouse and keyboard that video type applications often need, and some of the more esoteric things like uh, the isochronous transfer mode that things like DaVinci use, and that's all US2, USB 2.0 functionality. That is added to the existing KVM functionality yeah. like regular, regular keyboards, yeah. um, the video of course, analog audio which is all, all still available in the, in the family. And all of those things together are moved across a single fibre optic cable. Without the use of compression and without adding any uh, latency to the to the transmission, and those things all coupled together make the uh, make the Avio a, a unique proposition in this uh, this respect. Uh, of course, KVM extenders are not unique. They've been used in the post uh, environment for a long while. Uh, many facilities houses will have a rack full of them. Um, but what we've got here by using that single fibre is the ability to reduce the cost of deploying systems like that, as, as opposed, of course, to multiple cables. The, what we would use the, uh, such, uh, um, such a system for, of course, is moving, uh, moving video around, moving desktops. Uh, the AVO is able to support uh, a, a single dual-link DVI or two single-link DVIs. Single-link would give us full HD or indeed 1920 by 1200. And with the dual link, we're talking classically 2560 by 1600. Um, but in the video context, maybe 4096 by 2160 is more interesting. The, before we get into that a little further, though, the, uh, the idea of the, uh, the optical uh, um, nature of it can be combined with an optical network switch to actually create uh, a switching matrix for desktops. So if, for example, you were, uh, uh, you were connected up to something with 144 ports, and yep. that's not, uh, I've, I've worked with one of those, um, uh, you could say, right, that gives me 72 users connected, matrixed into 72 uh, yep. workstations elsewhere in the building. The, or the, the, other, the other extreme, one user could choose from 143 different, uh, uh, different workstations. Works with smaller optical switches, of course, but that's a really nice thing to have. And that single fibre aspect counts again, because you only use one port for the source, one port for the destination, gives you a great switching density. And that's one of the reasons why people use KVM extenders, to save, to save space in their facilities. They, uh, um, so going back to the resolution then, the... Uh, what we could be doing, coupled with the, the 4K monitor that we're using here, is to say, well, one dual link will move 4K at 30 hertz and use it for preview purposes. What we're actually doing is coupling two Avio systems into this monitor, which happens to have two dual link inputs. So we're able now to drive each half at 60 hertz. So total 4K driven at 60 hertz. Because we don't introduce any, uh, uh, any latency, you can't see the join because they're in perfect synchronization and Avio's looking after it. So that's what Avio's brought to the party for this IBC. Um, 4K if you want it, full HD still available if, uh, if that's where you are, all over, all over a single fiber. So matrox.com slash Avio. Do you know what I was just going to say? I was going to say where can we find the information at? And I think I'll just ask you again because I moved the mic away. It is matrox.com slash Avio. A V I O. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Uh, there is the link magically appeared on the screen by our editor. And uh, you can go to that website and find out all the information about the amazing Avio product. Uh, of course, we've got another video that we're doing here at the Matrox graphics stand. You'll find that link on this page as well. And all the other videos that we're doing at IBC 2013 on broadcastshow.com. Right, just so you know, we are live, transmitting across the world right now. Are you excited about this? Audience here, and hello to everybody watching on the web. Thank you so much for, for showing up for me. Welcome to the Threadneedle Parliamentarian of the Year Awards of 2011.
through the wonder of the World Wide Web, tonight's service can be seen throughout the world. Welcome to the start of a wonderful journey.